I was thinking of ways to um, help a friend celebrate his birthday, and he's overseas right now. So I was trying to find things that were as light and small as possible so that I could put them in a package that um, wouldn't weigh several pounds and that wasn't too large to ship. So um, we have a couple of extra Scrabble games here in the house, and I thought it would be fun to um, collect all of the letters that spell out happy birthday and um, use a glue gun to string them on some ribbon, which I have black in this case, um, and then we will put them all in a tiny little handmade um, paper box, and I've labeled it with a, a jar label. It says, mini happy birthday banner. And then it'll all just fit in that tiny little package and it'll weigh practically nothing um, so that they can have a little banner to celebrate their birthday. So I will show you how this progresses. I'm just assuming I'm going to put a little dot of <laughs> uh, glue from the glue gun on the back of each one and hopefully they'll stick beautifully. I did give them a, a gentle washing because this game is actually um, from 1952 this set and it was only a partial set but the little pieces are absolutely beautiful so I'm just glad that they're going to be put to use finally. I have some decisions to make already. It is two in the morning after all and I'm not thinking very clearly so I'm, I'm debating whether I should skew the letters slightly so that they all look a little uh, you know mishapped so when it hangs they look a little cheerful uh, maybe a little even sloppy some would say but something fun or do I try to put them in a very straight line the other question is do I put the ribbon in the middle how will they hang or should I put it at the very top and am I going to put the glue all the way across the back so that they really are snug on that line or am I just going to put a dot in the center so that they have a little bit of give and the line ends up you know coming just slightly above and giving a little dip almost like a picture frame um, with each one hanging on the thread. So I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to this. I think what I'm going to try first, because it's the easiest to um, add to instead of subtracting, is I think I'll be putting one little dot of glue in the center of each letter and then just using a little bit of the, um, the center of the thread to let each letter hang. Um, and I think I will do on the top. If you're uh, really specific, I'm sure you could measure the length of your string and decide how far you're going to space these. Um, and then, you know, measure from the center. What I'm going to do, honestly, is just eyeball it and glue them in place and one by one. And then whatever remnant is left on the ends of the ribbon, I'll just trim so that they're even. So I've already learned by experimentation that uh, the idea I had at first to just put a little dot right at the top of the back of it, these blocks are still too heavy, so it, it causes the block to hang forward when it's um, hanging. And so, and then if you put it in the center, of course, of this one, it's completely flipped over so you can't read it. Um, so what I've discovered is, and I'll, I'll be um, pulling these apart and, and redoing it on a, a, a new piece of um, string there because it's starting to get frayed for me pulling it apart. But if we can glue it to the top and actually make it a cleaner line where it's actually covering just exactly the top of it, it's actually the best way to go. And so just to show you how it hangs, I don't know if you can see this, let's see. I'm trying to do this one-handed doesn't quite make sense. But um, see how it hangs nicely so you can read it. And then if you this one leans forward and that one is completely upside down if you're going to hang it. So um, I think the best way to do it is to take your thread or your ribbon and glue it to the very top of the letter, it's um, going to hang properly. Then I was trying to think of all the other things or ways that you could um, use this banner, like maybe in someone's office cubicle or hanging from their car when they come out to their car for their birthday or if it's a happy anniversary. I mean, there's so many fun things you could do with this mini little banner, um, something different that's not store-bought and not just paper that's going to rip, but We'll see how this turns out. It'll be fun. It's coming along quite nicely. Um, it's taking no time at all, really. I'm just um, running hot glue on the very top end to end, and then just continuing my string all the way along. And uh, it's it's doing a great job, and it's sticking well. And I'm just estimating the separation between them. And I'm about to do the birthday part. 
And uh, just to remind you too, if you're using actual Scrabble pieces, make sure that your letters have all of the numbers on the bottom. I actually had like my H, one of my H's turned like that, which might be cute too if you had enough of them alternating, but in this case, uh, it looked like an oops. So make sure all your numbers are facing the same down. And then also, you know, just remember if you think that you're going to like turn these over and glue them, that they'll be backwards. They'll be in the wrong order. So I just recommend keeping them all in line, taking one at a time, gluing it, and then continuing along the line. So in less than 10 minutes, our banner is done. And I can't wait to hang it up somewhere and see how it looks.